Vasodilated drugs relax the smooth muscles in the blood vessels, which causes the vessels to dilate. Dilation of arterial vessel lead to a reduction in systemic vascular resistance, which lead to a fall in arterial blood pressure. Dilation of venous vessels decreases the venous blood pressure. Vasodilators include nitrate, ACE inhibitors, alpha-1 and N alpha-1 antagonists, nitroposite sodium, calcium antagonist dihydralazine and minoxidil. Arterial vasodilators are given to a lower blood pressure in hypertension to reduce cardiac work in the angina pectoris and to reduce the vascular afterload in cardiac failure. Venous vasodilators are used to reduce venous filling pressure preload in angina pectoris or cardiac failure. Practical uses are indicated for each drug groups. The tonus of vascular smooth muscles can be decreased by various means. ACE inhibitors, antagonists at 81 receptors and antagonists at alpha adrenal receptors protect against the effects of excitatory mediators such as angiotensin II and norepinephrine. Prostacycline analogues such as iloprost or prostaglandin E analogues such as alprostadil mimic the action of relaxant mediators. Calcium antagonists reduce depolarizing inward calcium current while calcium, uh, potassium channel activators promote outward potassium current. Organic nitrovasodilators give rise to nitric oxide, an endogenous activator of guanylate cyclase. Side effects of vasodilators may include chest pain, heart palpitation, rapid heartbeat, fluid retention, nausea or vomiting, dizziness, headache, flushing, excessive hair growth and nasal conjunction. Watch detailed lecture on scardia.com pharmacology course. That's 2 minutes. See you in the next video.